Now, we know them because <laughs> for the last few weeks we've been using Facebook and Twitter to find the most, the most romantic couple in Ireland. And we've realised that all over this country there's loved up people. It's great. We had hundreds and hundreds of entries from all over the country. And most of them were great. One in particular, though, caught our eye from Diana Laffin writing about her... Was it your niece... Yes, it's yeah. your auntie that did that, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And she said, I'd like to nominate Reg Plunkett and Debbie Laffin. They have been together for 22 years. Four years ago, Reg got kidney disease and life changed for them and their three children. Reg needed a kidney and things weren't looking good. Lots of friends and family tried, but no match. So Debbie decided to get tested and in a million to one chance, it turned out she was a perfect match. So, wait, 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 wait. wait. Now, it really was a minute to one chance, as spouses, spouses never are a perfect match, according to our friends here. So in October last year, Debbie gave her husband, and happened to be her best friend, her kidney. And the love they share is rare and beautiful, and both deserve a holiday, as they have missed out the last few years due to Reg needing dialysis six nights out of the week for eight hours a night. I have found them inspirational, watching everything they have gone through, and the love they share is once in a lifetime soulmate take your breath away kind of love and that message came from Diana and there they are the most <laughs> romantic and loved up couple in Ireland what a good story is it is it kind of crazy hearing it yeah. told like that it's yeah. kind of different from the experience you've obviously had yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. tell me about that um, where do you start? Where do, where you start? do we start? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're one in a million to, for starters. And then, what, 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 what knocks your socks off about your, your, your wife? I don't know, just, um, it was war. If it looks back, it wasn't anything major. Like, so yeah. just, there was no matches I was going to get tested. And I was like, I'd rather you didn't. I'd, I'd, I didn't want to put her through what well, she was going to go through, you know. But she did it? She did, yeah. How long are you going out to get? Like, how old were you when you met? Um, 16 and a half. 16. Oh, no, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. And, of course, the half is essential. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because now we know that you're, you were both the same age at the same time, as mm. it? Mm -hmm. And then when, when you would be romantically walking, how was the nightclub for you guys growing up? Itchy feet. Itchy feet. Itchy feet. Which Turn is, your village. <laughs> so you'd walk each other home. <laughs> I'd walk over to walk and sound, and then I'd walk up to kill home. And, <laughs> and you'd have a little smooch along we'd the way. We'd have a little one, yeah. And then, that, <laughs> and then the romance turned to, obviously, love and... and a house and kids. <laughs> oh, we've got the full... So no wonder you haven't the had a night whack. out. When was the last yeah. time you had a night out? God knows. God knows, yeah. God knows. Yeah. And you went and joined us? Well, you, you could got have a done, babysitter. Or you got a babysitter. And, OK, and then you, when you got sick a few years ago, you, you yeah. probably had to, you had to have a conversation. How, how have you been since and how are things going since? I've good since. Recovery-wise, physically, I feel over Mentally wise, after being on dialysis for three years, it's, it's hard to get back into life, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, get back into some um, things. Yeah, I have to go back to uh, rehabilitation, try to get back to work and all that. So that's the next step. Why did you do it? <laughs> I wanted to do it, Fran. Why did you want to do it? Yeah. Fran? Well, just seeing how sick he was, you know. Um, kids were losing out on a dad. Um, he spent most of his time in bed if he wasn't on dialysis. Um, and it was just, we grew up together. <laughs> so, when he got sick, it was an awful time. And now? So, I just kind of knew that if I was a match, which I knew the odds were going to be, you know... Slim to none. Exactly. So, when I got the phone call to say that I was a match, and then I was a perfect match, I said, right, I've got to go now and do it. You know, the notebook seems like a horror film beside <laughs> this romance. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And you're very in love with each other, aren't you? So you can see it just talking to you. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I, I don't know whether you want to laugh or cry. I don't know. Yeah, I'm in between. I'm in between. Yeah, yeah. You know when you see Pams a child, sweaty, you know? a child gets good. Don't want to laugh yeah. or cry. I have a lot of nerves. No, don't you know, worry. You're doing great. I tell you what, what you should do is I think we should we should send you guys to Paris. Yes. Yeah. We're going to do that. Um, what we did was we, we asked our friends in Aer Lingus, would they be interested in, in sending the most romantic couple in Ireland away for, for a little while? So you're going to go to Paris. We're going to give you 500 euro to spend on yourselves only. You're not allowed to buy stuff for other people. <laughs> the kids. I'm talking about a little glass something, a little trip on the Seine, and go into the museums and enjoy yourselves. Lovely. And that's a little gift from us to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.